what is up you guys ayo it's lance again on your screen and welcome back to another video if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload new video today i will be doing a tutorial on how you can make your own lyric video on tiktok using filmora 11. right after you open your filmora software you're gonna need to change your aspect ratio first to do that click file then go to project settings as you can see, aspect ratio is in widescreen, which has 16 is to 9 ratio. And you're going to change it into portrait since TikTok videos are best in portrait orientation, which has 9 is to 16 ratio. You can also change the frame rate of your project into 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second depends on the quality of those videos you will be using for your project. After that, click OK. Next is to import your files, especially the music or song that you're going to use for your lyric video. To do that, just click this import button and add your mp3 file for your background song or music. In my case, I'll be using Payphone by Maroon 5. Now for the video clips, you can import your own media if you have some or if you created some clips for a lyric video. Just import them here or you can just drag and drop them in Filmora 11. If you don't have any, you can go to Filmora 11's stock media to find some video clips that will be useful for your lyric video. In here, you can use Pixabay or Pexels to look for some high quality video clips. In my case, I'll be looking for videos captured from the city or videos with buildings and night lights by typing some keywords here under Filmora 11 stock media. These videos, by the way, are all royalty-free, meaning you can use them for your project without getting any copyright strike. You can also download various resolutions up to 4K as long as it's available. If you got a video that is in landscape orientation, all you need to do is to highlight the video clip and click crop, then change its ratio to 9 is to 16. It will be in portrait orientation and you can now adjust what part of the video you're going to use for your TikTok content. Now I will just collect all of the videos that I need and also add the song that I chose for this project. Before we go to the main part which is editing and adding the lyrics of the song, we need to take care of the video clips first so that we can edit the text seamlessly later. So as you can see here, I am collecting different videos which includes time lapses and videos captured from the city so that I will only have one theme for the background of my lyric video. I am also doing some splits and cuts so that the video kind of sync with the beat of the song or maybe the lyrics itself. Alright, so after finding all of the video clips that I need, made sure the video cuts sync with the music, let's now add some other elements such as transitions that somehow complement the music. In my case, I just used a world transition before the chorus and let's see how it looks later after we finish editing. Aside from transitions, I also added another element which is the effects. I tried to find some glitch effect if it will somehow make the lyric video looking cool. You can be playful with your editing when it comes to Filmora 11 because there are so many effects and transitions to pick from. Now after taking care of the video background, let's now proceed with the lyrics. Of course, before you start adding some text or titles to your video, make sure that you get the correct lyrics from Google. To start editing the text, just go to Titles tab right here and we are going to use their default title for our lyrics. If you want to learn more about title editing, you can watch my previous video about that here on my channel. Now our next thing to do is to edit the title clip first. You can pick your own font style and you can also make your own or choose your own preset design for your text. We are going to finalize our title design first before we add all the lyrics that we need for the song so that we can work smoothly. I also align the text in the middle and set the font size to 56. Next thing I'm going to do is to drag the whole title clip and extend it up to the end of the video. 
This will let me have a uniform title clip and by doing this, I can save a lot of time from generating and editing a title clip again and again. Now what I'm going to do next is to split the title clip according to the lyrics and after I cut or split for a certain part of the lyrics, I will immediately change the text. This will take a while, so here's the time lapse for you. Now that I'm done adding all the lyrics on the video, last thing I need to do is to put an animation for every title or text clip. To do that, you just need to go to Title Clips Animation tab and pick whatever you like for your text. In my case, I will just put some fade in for every text. You can easily drag and drop them to the title clip where you want to add it. Here's another time lapse for you.